from Mr. Michael Franks. Down in Brazil, it takes a day to walk a mile, time just stands still. And when the people you meet look at you, they smile. They still believe in style, they soothe you with their samba still. You really know you're down in old Brazil. You can tell you're down in old Brazil. Down in Brazil They never heard of win or lose If you can't feel And all those cafe ole girls In high heel shoes Will really cure your blues It seems they all just aim to please Women sway like wind in the banana trees Then you know you're down in old Brazil That was a fun one. Have you ever been to Brazil? Oh uh, no. No. No, uh, no. I'm no South America for you. I don't like to fly. You know, okay, well then that probably wouldn't be. So when you flew speaking of flying to Maui, you were talking about you came here right, I and came, you didn't let leave. Well it's I, a it's a it's a story a lot of people tell. Uh, you know, as I mentioned, we came here to open up for Elvin Bishop and I had four days worth of clothes and my drums. And that was it. And then we did a concert over in Oahu at the, at the uh, Blaisdell. And wow. then the, the, we, the keyboard player said, well, let's go to Maui and see what we can do. So we, the whole band came over what here. What year was this? Uh, 1977. Okay. And uh, the whole band came over to Maui. We rented a house in Kula and started looking for gigs. Well, back in 1977, <laughs> there wasn't a lot of gigs. Probably not a lot of jazz And the, and the <laughs> bands that were here, uh, they, had their, their, they had their gigs, mm -hmm. and you didn't want to, you know, cut in on them and everything. So uh, for about a month, maybe six weeks, the band <laughs> was intact, but everybody went home. 
I had to get a job. <laughs> there was nothing to do. So I started exploring things and uh, I wind up selling my drums like four times over. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> had so many different gigs. It was crazy. I spent 20 years, though, as, I, as I'm proud to say, at uh, Seabury Hall as a oh. groundskeeper at Seabury Hall. Wonderful. And, and uh, that's how I made a lot of connections in that way. But <laughs> as I mentioned, I had to sell my drums yes. several times. <laughs> I would sell my drums and, and get enough money to buy a new set. And then I had to wind up selling that set. And so anyway, it, it was, a, a, as you can imagine, just getting established <laughs> is what it is. And so uh, it, was, it was fun in some ways, but other ways it was a lot of work. Oh. <laughs> I mean, one of my jobs was as a security guard down at the Monokai Hotel. Yeah. Uh, you know, that's, <laughs> you can see me walking around with a can of pepper spray and yeah. uh, whatever else and, and I'm supposed to be security guard me uh, yeah. you had a golf cart uh, <laughs> and I had to deal with the, with the local people and, I, and his, then the this, visitors this holly yeah. guy comes up and says hey you're not supposed to be doing this and they're looking at me like <laughs> they're like yeah you're uh, funny uh, yeah. <laughs> Anyway. Uh, well, you knew your place at least. <laughs> well, it, then it, but Maui embraced you. Yeah. No, and now she loves you. Yeah, well, I, I fell in love with Maui, mm -hmm. and I just said, there's no reason for me to go home. So Yeah. I, well, I'm glad you didn't. Yeah. A lot of people um, may know you from, I forgot to mention, Jimmy C. and the Cool Cats. Well, yeah. Right. Jimmy, Jimmy Mack and the Jimmy, Cool Cats. Jimmy, sorry, not yeah. Jimmy C. Ha <laughs> ha. Wrong Jimmy. He's like, excuse me. <laughs> um, but Jimmy Mack and the Cool Cats, I mean... The best party band on Maui for how many years? Yeah. He shoots. He, well, he's, and he's... He's still going? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know. But, uh, yeah, that taught me a lot about it, and he taught me mm -hmm. a lot, and I made a lot of good connections. And uh, You sung with Joette Burke. Yeah. Right? yeah. Oh, yeah. Joette. Oh, yeah. She's We'd great. love to have her. She's, yeah, she's great. And she's classic. Yeah, that experience classic was whale. something I value very, very much. Wonderful. and uh, I, I, You bring joy to people's lives. You throw well, the party. Well, you know, You're I was the drummer. just... I was just... He brought joy to the party. Okay. I was just the, the following his instructions, uh, which... You were part of the package. You got to follow Jimmy's instructions. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> you were the cool cat then, yeah. right? It was, it was nice. It was great. So. Wonderful. Well, we're going to share a little bit more here from Jimmy C and his left hand man. No, 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 no. <laughs> right hand not, man. Yeah, 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 Is that yeah. offensive left hand man? Am I saying something? I, I don't, don't know. We'll discover so. that in another show. Um, I want to <laughs> give a shout out to, of course, Backlit Buddha Studios for being our home. And of course, Michael Elam, uh, the managing director of Mana'o Radio. And of course, the Buddha crew, Tempa, Noor, Michelle, and Johnny uh, Pinatas for supporting this effort. And before I forget, I want to give a lot of love to our buddy who was featured here almost a year ago. Um, Ping Pong Po, a.k.a. Pono, as he goes by now, he just won the American Beatboxing Championship. Mm, yeah. yeah, so a Maui boy is the American Beatboxing Champion. Isn't that crazy? From Kahului. He's like 20 years old. It's pretty phenomenal. So we had him on the show here uh, last year, and we're a huge fan. And I heard he's going to be producing um, some stuff with Marty Dredd. How fun is that? I introduced him here, and um, I just love how that works out. So stay tuned for a Marty Dredd and Pono. A collaboration, reggae meets beatboxing. Let's do it, right? Especially from Maui, too. Like, you know. We can do anything. Yeah, yeah. That's great. All right, guys, let's hear some more from okay. the smooth crooner, Jimmy C. This also is from the CD and uh, gives me an opportunity to uh, move over to. Uh, well, Yay, the drums. Well, yeah. uh, we'll a baby kit. Anyway. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Going to work me here and see how it goes. <laughs> one, two, one, two, three. <laughs> Every time it rains, it rains pennies from heaven. Don't you know each cloud contains pennies from heaven? You'll find your fortune falling all over town. I'll be sure that your umbrella is upside down. Save it for a package of sunshine and flowers. If you want the things you love, you must have showers. So when you hear it thunder, don't run onto a tree. There'll be pennies from heaven for you and me.
Every time it rains, it rains pennies from heaven. Don't you know each cloud contains pennies from heaven? You'll find your fortune falling all over town. I'll be sure that your umbrella is upside down. Save it for a package of sunshine and flowers. If you want the things you love, you must have showers. So when you hear it thunder, don't run under a tree. There'll be pennies from heaven. Pennies from heaven. Pennies from heaven for you and me. We got a little dance party going on. How can you not dance to that music? It's so much fun. Now, growing up in the 60s and 70s, I'm so jealous. You live such a fun life. We should write a book about you. I was reading your bio. Tell us what, of course, Beatles, Mania. Yeah. You said you're inspired. Well, uh, but yeah. you lived in a really cool time. And in Philadelphia? Yeah, well, that's Philadelphia is wow. where I'm from. And uh, lots of stuff going on back lots there. And, and um Oh, boy. Well, let's back up. In junior high school, I was playing with two um, gentlemen of color, and I was playing jazz, Yeah, believe it or not. In the 60s. And then the Beatles hit. And then, of course, oh, I want to be a Beatle. You know? I, <laughs> I used to wear rings on my finger like Ringo. Like Ringo. And, and I was known as Jingo. <laughs> Back in those days, and uh, <laughs> and actually, uh, the band that I really made some uh, progress with and came this close to uh, was a band called The Effects, and um, we were, you know, like so I said, cool. this close. But then uh, our lead guitar player got drafted. Oh, and what a time! And he to went to like Vietnam that. and everything, and and the band just, you know, never recovered after that. But that being said, when he returned, uh, he was part of the band that came out here to, to play and, and everything else and that stuff. So we were a jazz fusion band mm -hmm. uh, there for a long time. And um, as I said, that's the band that came out here. We were known as uh, <laughs> Whale's Tooth was our name <laughs> when we came out here and we, we changed it actually to that because we came to Hawaii and the, the association with whales and everything else so anyway that's how that happened up but uh, yeah as as you might uh, you know surmise um, when you want to be a beetle <laughs> like the Beatles you, you do all that stuff and everything else so we were high school graduations everything you can think of and we had the uniforms and the suits yes, and everything else. I saw the suits, else. the and, white, and yeah, the black, and, and the everything tie. else. So we went on all that whole route, but ah, <laughs> just so close to, to signing a nice record contract and everything else. But eh, it's okay. Yeah. Well, now you've lived like 10 different lives uh, <laughs> since then. Truly, it's truly. It's really interesting where you would have been, the trajectory of your life. Yeah, um, I'm grateful for everyone that's helped me out along the way, and uh, certainly. Uh, when you when you have aspirations of being another beetle and then you wind up picking carnations at a carnation farm in Kula, <laughs> uh, it's it's like a humble, you know, sobering, moment, sobering you have to say moment. the least, you know. So, uh, but wouldn't change anything. And um, yeah, I'm I'm just grateful that I have my health and everything mm -hmm. else, and I'm and I'm alive and having having fun and meeting all these great people. Yeah. Uh, you can't you can't beat that. That's you know. It's it's really refreshing and actually interesting that drummers are actually some of the most talkative outgoing people in the band sometimes they think they're tell me I no, 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 no 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 i love drummers because they're outgoing and like sometimes like you know they'll have the microphone too bass players are more like a little quiet in the mm, background you know yeah, but true. i've always been friends with drummers uh -huh. like most of my guy friends like are drummers and i love seeing you out front and your personality if, with with you stepping out as a crew as center stage yeah isn't it
it nice you kind of get to like share a little bit more and be more of yourself? Oh, yeah. Because you're so fun. Well, and exhilarating. you know, when I'm sitting behind the drums yeah. and I'm trying to play the tunes, there's a lot being expressed in the way that I play. Mm-hmm. Although you have to be careful. You don't want to, uh, <laughs> the people who you're backing up, you got to make sure you're backing them up. But, uh, uh, you know, when I was singing all the time, singing and playing mm-hmm. at the same time and everything, in fact, my very first tune that I started to sing and play drums was Gloria. Oh, wow. G-L-O-R-I-A, you know, and, you know, that was the start of it all in, in, that, in that regard. But uh, um, we had, in, a, in the, the band effects, we had four-part harmony and everything else, and we were, again, wow. trying to be like the Beatles. <laughs> but, uh, you know, now that I have this opportunity, and I mentioned it's a bucket list thing, I'm going to go full on and take advantage of it. The thing that really makes it go is a gentleman to my left. And if I didn't have him, I wouldn't be standing here today, that's for sure. So, uh, anyway. That's wonderful. I'm so glad we get to celebrate this yeah. today with you two and make one of your dreams come true. It is a celebration, actually. That's really and cool. um, I'm grateful for everybody here at Backlit and everybody else and John behind the camera right there. <laughs> <laughs> and don't forget this is a gig technically so please tip the talent. I put oh. the PayPal up uh, there. It's um, uh, Jimmy C. Jazz on <laughs> PayPal and also Cody is volunteering his time and energy so tip the uh, tech talent at CQ Audio. Also want to give a shout out. We've got Kevin Garland um, here as well. He's a fantastic drummer. He's in a band called 3 to 5. Mm. They're a funktastic band. Um, they're going to be coming up soon here on Manao at home so stay tuned for that what are we going to do when Kevin has to play someone's going to have to be in that room uh oh well we'll talk more about that later well, all right let's be... hear another jazzy what, number what, tell me what uh, what, we're what's, doing our, well. what's our reference that we have we okay we got, tell me we got we're about we're a little over halfway through the show oh, oh okay. so we got plenty of time oh, all right. yeah all we right. started a little bit late uh, oh, I mentioned John <laughs> behind the camera. This is one of his Johnny Pinata, baby. favorite tunes, and uh, actually oh, such a nice tune. And I couldn't couldn't resist the opportunity to try to do it. Although I don't do it as much justice mm-hmm. as the band that originally did it, but I do what I can. So here you go. <laughs> It was late, I was walking you home We got down to the gate And I was dreaming of the night Would it turn out right? How to tell you, girl I wanna build my world around you I tell you that it's true make you understand I'm talking about a lifetime plan that's the way it began we were hand in hand Glenn Miller's band was better than before we yelled and screamed for more and the porter too dance across the room it ended all too soon and on the way back home I promise you'd never ever be alone hurry don't be late I can hardly wait said to myself as we're through we'll go dancing in the dark walking through the park and reminiscing
Friday night, it was late, I was walking you home We got down to the gate And I was dreaming of the night Would it turn out right? How to tell you, girl I wanna build my world around you Tell you that it's true make you understand I'm talking about a lifetime plan hurry don't be late I can hardly wait I said to myself when we're old we'll go dancing in the dark walking through the park and reminiscing in the dark walking through the park and reminiscing we'll go dancing in the dark walking through the park and reminiscing walking through the park talking after Listening to those Cole Porter tunes, yeah. Yeah. Little River Band. I love that song. <laughs> it takes me back to my mom and dad listening to it while making dinner. Yeah. And just being a pleasant, you know, yeah, playing yeah. vinyl. It's just really nice. Well, again, I, you know, Little River Band had such vocals and, <gasps> you know, uh, such lush vocals, shall we say. So to do it the way I did it is it's a little different, but uh, the lyrics are the most important thing. Yeah. So, yeah. It's With any of my tunes, the reason why I do the tunes I do is because I... You love the lyrics. The lyrics are just such classics, and they're mm -hmm. just the greatest. So that's what I try to do is a, a lot of stuff that... You know, tells the story, and the lyrics are the most important thing. The heck with the musician. So we, we, we do what we can. It's the lyrics that really are. Well, this is such a superb collection that you're paying homage to, These this collection of songs. How did you, what made you decide on these? Ah. Are these songs that have been with you throughout your journey? Well, again, I go back to the lyrics. It's these. That's what touched you. Lyrics yeah. that touched me, mm -hmm. and I felt that they said everything that I would like to say, because I'm a... I'm a romantic yes, you are. In, in my heart. Uh, I really do. Uh, that's why the, two, the album's called From My Heart, because mm -hmm. I would like people to, who are uh, in love mm -hmm. or they have a, a special date on a Friday night and they want to share a nice glass of wine or whatever else, and they put this on, and maybe I set the mood for them, and that's what I'm trying to do. You're so. the best. You're the best. <laughs> You're like sweet chocolate delight. I just love you. You're just the best. <laughs> No, yeah, he's just he's just perfect. Goes with everything. I just love this. Now, speaking of love, there's a music video on your um, website. It's uh, one for my baby, oh. and you're dancing with oh. your love, oh. right? In yes. that video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I do have a lady in my life who truly. Uh, where would I be without her? And so to Liz Ashley, I I uh, salute her, and she's. Just great, and uh, yeah, that, that video was interesting. And uh, is it one for my baby? I'm not sure which one it was. I think it was one for my baby. Yeah. Well, anyway, that's one of, yeah. <laughs> one of my favorite tunes. And when we were shooting one for my baby, I actually wound up being pretty drunk. <laughs> <laughs> you had two for your baby, one, two, uh, <laughs> but it was fun. It was, it was definitely fun. It's just that I, I, I look at it sometimes and go, "Wow, I'm really leaning on the bar." Like this. But, uh, <laughs> you were feeling it. You were uh, yeah, in the moment. no, I was getting into it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's okay. It's Although honest. I'm not, I'm not doing that soon today. No, you know, shoot. But, well, you know, I didn't want to. You know, <laughs> lose it here. Get a little the, loose. Uh, <laughs> Usually we started late. Let's get loose. Matt, we're doing good. <laughs> Thank so. you guys so much for tuning in. Don't forget, tip the talents. We got jimmycjazz.com. Check out that beautiful website. And you can follow him on Facebook. You've got two Facebook pages. Yep. You're what, there, buddy. Yeah, whatever Noor says I have. Yeah, okay, uh, <laughs> yeah, the boss. Tempa and him are the boss. So let's get some more jazzy tunes. We got a few more here from our friends. Yeah, okay. That's it. I guess 
guess you wonder where I've been I search to find the love within And I came back to let you know Gotta think for you And I can't let go My friends wonder what is wrong with me Cause I'm in a daze from your love you see And I came back to let you know Gotta think for you and I can't let go People go around the world for love But they may never find What they dream of What you won't do Do for love You tried everything But you don't give up In my world You start playing it and the room turns and they're like yeah because you know it's just it's so great it, it was such a big hit so uh, you know mm -hmm. it's, uh, a lot of people associate it with it so there you go. i'm loving all your movements and you're just feeling it how well, about been, that microphone you got from tempa stuck Woo. behind the drums for so long yeah it's so nice to see you fluid right, and dance and, and then, i bet you're a good dancer i i bet you do i bet you as my mom says i bet you cut a rug <laughs> I, I do. I uh, I love to dance. I, I I did all the. You know, when I grew up, when I grew up, there was the the, the monkey, the frug, uh, the cha cha. The uh, you know, I do the I do what they call now the East Coast swing, but it was jitterbug back in those oh, days. Oh yeah, you know, how so fun! I don't do West Coast swing. I have a lot of problems with that one, but I, <laughs> and I get a, a hard time for that uh, from some people. <laughs> but uh, no, I love to dance, and uh, you know. It's, Especially like cha chas, they're really nice. So, uh, you get into that. So, but yeah, I, I well, you're a drummer. You gotta have some rhythm. So I, I, you were a drummer forty years. Uh, well, I started. started? Uh, well, oh no. Well, uh, I started when I I guess originally uh, when I was thirteen is when oh, I started wow. playing drums. Wow. But um, 
I sang, uh, when I was sixth grade, I sang a tune for my graduation. Nice. And, I, and I can still uh, see my mother sitting in the front row, <laughs> holding her head like this, <laughs> waiting for the high notes that I had to hit. You know, so um, in any case, I, I yeah, I've had, just had rhythm naturally. For so, she tried to get me into a, a school that, um, you know, was a an artistic school, and they had a lot of uh, artistic things going on. But my grades weren't good enough. <laughs> so, <laughs> you were too busy being artistic. You yeah, were using the I, other I, side I of your brain. So, but it, it, <laughs> that's right. It, it turned out okay. So, as someone who's been, you know, really made this beautiful career out of music, what's some advice you can give to somebody who's starting? Oh. What's like a couple of things that you wish you would have known? Oh, uh, pieces of advice. Well, there's only one thing you got to know when you're a musician and you're getting into the business: stick with it. Just don't, you know what? You know you may have opportunities or stop times when you feel like it's not going to happen, but just stick it out and just and expand your horizons. Don't get don't get caught in one thing. I mean, I'm playing even today. I'm playing with music and musicians and doing stuff that I never thought I would be outside your comfort zone. Yeah, and so that's just it. Just keep plowing ahead. Just keep keep doing it that's that's what the most important thing i can say so wow. great advice yeah thank you guys so much for being here we only have two more so we'll do one and then we'll do the long one right oh uh, yeah what do you think uh, yeah yeah, yeah. You I, and i think we're almost right on schedule we're on schedule yeah. we yeah. got about two you could do three more but i know he said the last one was a little bit long so. yeah well it's it's yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so whatever we got two or three more so whatever you guys are feeling thank yeah. you guys so much for tuning in don't forget if you just um clicked on the link. This whole episode will be available on Monao Radio's YouTube and also MonaoRadio.com so you can share that. So we have a nice little catalog piece for you. Uh, we'll link it to your website. I'm sure Noor and Tep will take care of that. But thanks so much for joining us oh, and just sharing. Well, I, You're the best. I'm just... It was amazing that Michael <laughs> scheduled me for this and I appreciate you, Trish, and everything else that you do. So, oh. so yeah, we got two more. I, I, we'll see how that... This was a... Uh, I, anyway, I mentioned cha chas and <laughs> Latin type stuff, so we'll try to we'll try to pull this one off. We'll see. Vamanos. <laughs> Your love is rain, my heart the flower. Sky. The rain can't fall on distant deserts. The rain can fall upon the sea. The rain can't fall upon the flower. If the rain has to fall, let it fall on me. Agua chi bebe, agua chi bebe, camara. Agua chi bebe, agua chi bebe, camara. Agua 
Ciebie biega wara Ti barara Ali bara bara Ali bara bara Ali bara bara Ali bara bara That is, a, I love that one. You yeah. can't help but your shoulders. Uh, yeah, you gotta yeah. stop move, moving immediately. Uh, yeah, this has yeah. been so much fun, and you guys, you can get this album at jimmycjazz.com. It's available. I saw it was on sale, a little price slash recently. Thanks so much to Oren Teppa for keeping us in the loop about Jimmy C, and of course Michael Elam. How cool that he introduced you. I mean, it's yeah. like this. I love this. That's yeah. what my favorite thing about Maui. I worked in the music scenes in Chicago. It's not like this. Yeah. It's, you know, you show up to do an event and things are messed up because the person before you didn't want you. You know, here it's like everyone's like wants you to be successful. They bring, they help you. You want to borrow a cord? I got something in my car. I can fix that. Yeah, it's a small community. Yeah. And once you, you know, but also in that, re re in that regard, too, if, if, you show up and you have an attitude yes. and, you know, <laughs> people Peace. are gonna know about you you know <clears throat> you know it's i i you know maui's is such a small island if businesses aren't you know up to date or they don't stick with it and be nice people you the reputation gets mm -hmm. around so same thing with musicians mm -hmm. i uh, say yeah. embrace or get out of my face yeah hey. that's how maui is hey. <laughs> when you're when you have a little attitude well you guys thanks so much for tuning in we're going to do one more but before i leave i want to send much love and aloha to this show's not possible without my underwriters who are the playground maui mm -hmm. and also venture physical therapy mm -hmm. and today is world physical therapy day oh. so if anybody's ever experienced physical therapy i know i've had i've been a few car accidents it changed my life yeah. and um, I just want to say aloha to physical therapists all over the world and thank you so much of course to Manao Radio Backlit Buddha Studios Stephen Holding Chino LaForge Cody Quintana Kevin Garland and of course the Buddha crew um, just so blessed with this show it's the best part of my every time I leave here I just feel better like I'm floating you know and um, I hope you guys feel the same way at oh, home so well, thank you so much tip the talents at Jimmy C on PayPal. You're like, you're so fun. What are you going to do for our last finale? Well, Special? Uh, I, you know, this is obviously, well, I, I should say obviously, but one of my favorites. And, uh, you know, this guy back in the day really, really, uh, I, I admired him and I'd love to see him on the Ed Sullivan show and everything else. So here we go. You'll recognize it. Oh, the shock, babe. Has such teeth, dear, and he shows them early white. Just a jack knife has so Maggie Heath, babe, <laughs> and he keeps it out of sight. You know when that shark bites but with his teeth, dear. Scarlet billows start to spread Fancy gloves, oh, where's old Maggie Heath, babe? So there's never, never a trace of red On a sidewalk, ha, ha, oh, Sunday morning, uh -huh. Lies a body just oozing light It can someone sneak in around the corner But someone be back the knife There's a tugboat hum, hum, down by the river, don't you know? A cement bag just drooping on down. Oh, that cement is just, it's there for the wait, dear. Five will get you ten old Maggie's back in town. All right, let's try this. Louis Miller <laughs> He disappeared bed After drawing out All his hard-earned cash And now Maggie He spent 
just like a sailor Could it be Hot boys done something rash Now say Jenny Dabba Rose to the tawdry Look out to Miss Lottie And old Lucy Brown Oh, the light falls on the right day Now it back is back in town Now say Jenny Dabba Rose to the tawdry Look out to Miss Lottie Jimmy C. Thank Mahalo you. for joining us here on Manawa at Home. You're the best. You're the coolest cat. Jeff, what a pleasure to meet you. Yeah, this was crazy. Uh, thank you so much. Thank you for joining thank us. You. What a pleasure to meet you, and welcome to the Maui Music Community. I appreciate that. Thank what you. What a beautiful place Mr. to be. Jeff Helmer. Yes. Ladies, I love to say that, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Jeff Helmer. <laughs> <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Jimmy C. Mahalo, sir. Yeah. What a cool session. I am so excited to see what's going to come. I'm going to. Be heading over to Harry's house, just so you know. Yeah, you're Sunday. Well, well, <laughs> we got the six pack. Any I'll Sunday. be there. I don't play anything but tambourine. Okay, is that cool? Sure. <laughs> He's like, no tambourine. There's a sign at the beat, door. That's all. I get. I'll bring the comedian. All right. All right, all right. <laughs> Mahalo, guys. Thank you so much. Don't forget to tip the talents. Uh, the uh, PayPal's up there. And big love to my crew. We'll be back here in two weeks with Auntie Liz Morales um, of Ahumanu, and she'll be joined by her percussionist. Um, Pohai, who is just phenomenal. We love her so much. They're part of the Jordan Soon Band and some other things that are happening. So I'm just really excited to have them. Some rocking ladies in the studio. And then next month we have Alex Kama, who is a uh, ukulele uh, singer-songwriter. He's on the west side, and he's helped cultivating the singer-songwriter scene in Lahaina. So it's always nice to see what's going on on the west side. And then we've got a super-sized episode for Halloween, October 27th. We're going to have two bands in here. It's going to be the Punk Rock Show. We've got the Minorities and Colin, and um, they share some members. So we're just going to get them all in here and have a big punk rock party <laughs> for um, October. So you guys stay tuned to Manao at Home, uh, Manao Radio, back with Buddha Studios. And of course, Trish Dish 24. Thank you guys so much for keeping it real for the homeschool. I will see you guys on the flip side. Mahalo to our special guests, Jimmy C. and Jeff Helmer. All right, guys, keep it real. Aloha. <laughs> All right. Peace. <laughs> yeah, that was great. All right. Good show. Sometimes we're late and then it's great. <laughs> and that's cool, right? Because we're not on the air.